Stuart, another fairly major hurdle overcoming in terms of the new facility this, uh, today. Yeah, you must be pleased. Can I f start by just getting your reaction to the, today's news? Yeah, it, it, fantastic news for the club. I'm personally uh, delighted, as I think everyone uh, within the club is, and um, I think it's a uh, great testament to the professional team. It's taken us through this whole process. You now it's been a, a long and, and at times pretty torturous journey, but uh, we've got to our men. You no, know, this mightn't be the uh, the final chapter. Mm -hmm. um, they may well choose to appeal the the decision, but. I would like to, to think if they sit back and reflect on the decision, uh, it's a fairly uh, uh, definite conclusion mm -hmm. that the, the judge has, has come to. He's uh, set out very clearly that the council have handled the, the application in the right way. It's been processed effectively. and. Uh, uh, I would hope that this is the final chapter and we can now push ahead and, and really start to focus and deliver on phase two. We'll look at phase one and phase two. Phase one is to start with. What stage is it with the training ground at? I know because the weather has been better, the, there's been a lot of work going on. Because I'm sure the manager's been asking you <laughs> when the he, players are going to be training there. He, he asks on a fairly regular <laughs> basis, which you, you'd expect him to do. He's... Uh, waited a long time mm -hmm. for it, uh, as of uh, many of the players, but it's phase one is pretty much on track. Mm -hmm. um, they've uh, started to construct the pitches, a lot of the drainage work is, is done, uh, and the aim is uh, very much to have phase one delivered complete late summer. Okay, good stuff. And this, this funding has been secured for that, is that right? So well. the, the funding for phase one is is all lined up. We, mm -hmm. we, we still have some things to work through there, but the the 12 million or so it's going to be invested in the delivery of phase one, that is, is lined up and the, the challenge will be to, to find the money to deliver phase two. On to phase two, what's the, what's the time scale without looking at now? Realistically, we've lost a year. No, we got a decision a year, just uh, over a year ago. Uh, we weren't able to, to tackle some of the issues that specifically relate to phase two, uh, and, and I think we've sort of three main areas to drive forward with on it now. The first one is to go out there and consult effectively with the the fans. Mm -hmm. the, corporate support and the wider community to make sure that the final design, uh, both inside and outside the stadium, delivers all mm -hmm. the facilities that people want and, and, and expect. Uh, that'll be a fairly comprehensive exercise and that'll be the final input into finalising the design for the stadium. That'll then enable us to go ahead and mm -hmm. get building warrants and all the detailed uh, design done for the, the stadium. Second element that's got to be driven forward are there's a, a number of conditions, planning conditions that relate specifically to the stadium, the controlled parking zone West Hill, the overbridge for the pedestrians and also the link footpath from the, the Kings Wells Park and Ride out to the stadium. We've work to do with both Aberdeenshire and, and Aberdeen City Council to resolve all the issues around these three elements. And then the biggest challenge is going to be raising the cash mm -hmm. that's going to be required for phase two. What would you say to the fans, Stuart, because some of the last, they'll be concerned maybe some of the funds will be diverted towards the stadium. You know, how are we going to keep the football budget at the, the same level? I think we've been able to, to demonstrate, no, what... Uh, the fans uh, need to appreciate. You no, know, we've been having to fund moving forward this project for the last two, three years, uh, 
we've been able to do that without mm -hmm. any funds being diverted from the uh, the football operation. In that same period of time, no, it, we've been able to to grow substantially the investment into the whole football operation, mm -hmm. and that is very much our plans uh, going forward. We know the the the, the catalyst and driving force for everything that happens at the club is what actually happens out in, in, in the football pitch. Mm -hmm. uh, we wouldn't be where we are today if it hadn't been for the success that the football operation has delivered over the last five, six years. And we recognise the major challenge ahead over the next two, three, four years to deliver a stadium. Mm -hmm. If we can't keep that momentum going, and, success and continue to deliver success in the football front, it's going to be even more challenging to mm -hmm. deliver the stadium. Mm -hmm. So we are very conscious of the fact that the ongoing investment into the football operation is fundamental. And obviously one of the, 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 the key things that has played a major part in that has been the success of Aberdeen. Mm -hmm. DNA, you know, the, the contribution from the fans to help us grow the football budget has been immense and we could make sure that we can drive that forward. Just, uh, I mean, you mentioned about the design, that's true, but the fans have got a massive part to play in the match day experience. I mean, they, they, they understand what they want, yeah. <laughs> so we really want to hear from them over the next couple of years, don't we? Uh, uh, Just so uh, we get uh, it absolutely right. Uh, absolutely, and, and uh, we've got the uh, they acknowledge we're embarking on some new territory here. No, we don't have a fan zone uh, at the moment. No, we all uh, use the word uh, quite loosely, mm -hmm. but we, we've got to be honest with ourselves. We don't know what that looks like. We need to, to hear what mm -hmm. the fans uh, b believe it, it, it needs to be, uh, as is the case with many other aspects of the final uh, stadium design. So this next stage, the, the consultation with the fans, no, is an absolutely crucial thing. We're, we're making a major investment mm -hmm. here for the clubs, but it's the fans that are going to be uh, the users of this uh, new facility, and, and we've got to make sure that the final stadium it's delivered delivers to the expectations of the fans. It's been a long journey. Did it's you, been a long journey. <laughs> did you ever did you ever have your doubts, Stuart? Did you ever think it wasn't gonna happen or I mean your determination to, to drive it through has been incredible. No, I I've never had doubts that we would get there in the end. Uh, I've got to be honest in saying uh, I didn't expect the journey to the to, 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 to be as as rocky as it's been. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, the fact that we've been in this journey for the best part of 20 years now, this is the third attempt we've already gained uh, two previous consents, but mm -hmm. for various reasons outside our control, we weren't able to deliver these projects. Uh, th there was nobody more happy than me when we, we cut the first sod at Mm -hmm. at Kingsford. The, that to me uh, brought home the reality we've, uh, we've given ourselves a real starting point. Mm -hmm. uh, the commitment's always been there. I think there's lots of people within the club that have played a, a huge role in our journey over the last 20 years. Uh, probably n none less so than Dave Johnston who mm -hmm. Uh, played a key role in the past two uh, applications. Uh, it's sad in a way that Dave is not there with us to be part of uh, mm. uh, finally delivering the project, uh, but I've no doubt that he's uh, keeping a pretty close eye on it. Yeah, he'll be picking his seat. Yeah. <laughs> But Stuart, I mean, you mentioned Dave, there's, there's been an awful lot of hard work done by a lot of people, but there's an awful lot of more hard work ahead, isn't there? Uh, uh, absolutely. Uh, no, I think it'll be a huge boost to everyone in the club when we finally occupy mm. phase one at Kingsford. No, to, to, to be able to, to go there and see the Derek and the players 
train and the, the sea, uh, our youth academy up and operating, the sea, the, the community trust, doing all the fantastic mm -hmm. things that they're already doing within the community, but it, it'll put them in a position to do things on a, a totally different scale from what we're currently doing. Now, that's going to be a massive day uh, for, for the club. Yeah, we're going to have to wait another few years mm -hmm. for the stadium to, 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 to come along, but I think the C Phase 1 of Kingsford, Kingsford finally becoming op operational, mm -hmm. no, th that is a, a, a real watershed for the, the club. Uh, every manager that's been here has, has cursed the facilities mm -hmm. uh, we've, we've had at the club. Uh, the gap between ourselves and other clubs has widened over the years and uh, finally be up there alongside all of them and hopefully ahead of uh, many of them is going to be fantastic. Stuart, thank you for your time. Thank Always you. enjoy having you on TV, so appreciate your time. Thank you.